Hey, good morning. It's Ed and Keith here live with Mindset Monday. And today I want to talk about because I deserve it. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you do too. And remember, if you need my help uh, to master your money mindset, reach out to me and book a call. The link is uh, in the text. So anyway, um, why do you deserve it? Well, you know what? We deserve to have everything we want. The universe says so. Uh, that's how uh, the world is designed for us to get what we want. Unfortunately, people don't realize that. And they go ahead and they think about all the crap that they don't want and not realizing that by thinking about that every single day of their lives, that's what they get more and more of. Now, it's really difficult uh, for most people to think about what they want. First of all, they probably never allowed themselves to. You know, our paradigms from the time we're children tell us we can't have everything that we want. Our parents tell us, you can't have that, you can't have that. And eventually, we just believe what they say and we tell ourselves that on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, it's the universe is designed that whatever you think about all the time you're going to get and I know we've heard that many 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 times but what people don't realize is so many of the thoughts that we have are automatic and uh, if you were as a child told you don't deserve that you're not worthy um, who are you to think that you should have that then you know what a lot of the thoughts that are going through your head are so automatic that you don't even know they're happening. So one of the things that I help people with is becoming aware of what those thoughts are. And you know, once you're aware of what those thoughts are, then you can change them. But a lot of times if you're not even aware, you don't, uh, you don't pay attention and you can't change what you're not aware of. So keep that in mind too. Um, one of the things, you know, like, like people say to me, well, I don't wish to be poor. I don't wish to have all this trouble at my work. I don't wish to, um, you know, have a, a sick spouse. Like, I don't wish any of that. Of course you don't wish any of that. But if that's all you talk about and that's all you think about, then you're, you know, you're living in reality. And that's somewhere where you don't need to stay all the time. Go live in your imagination for a while and imagine your life how you want it to be. A healthy spouse, vibrant, uh, that you can travel together, that you can earn the kind of money you want to earn, that you can live the lifestyle that you want. Um, so many of us are conditioned, and when I mean conditioned, you know that story about Pavlo and the dogs? The dogs were conditioned to salivate every time they heard the bell ring for food. Well, you're so conditioned that uh, you, you don't even know what you don't know. So one of the things I want you to look at is your results. Do you have the relationship of your dreams? Do you have the job of your dreams? Do you have the career of the your dreams do you get to do what you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis you know everybody has challenges there's no way around that but do those challenges help you to grow or do you just get stuck in them and get all living in reality uh saying how terrible your life is you know it's all up to you and the way that you can uh, change that is by changing your paradigm and your paradigms a lot of times are stuff that you don't even recognize and that's where it starts. If you can start to recognize the stuff that's holding you back, and I don't care what level you're at. You could be making a million dollars a year. There's always another level. You could be making $15,000 a year. There's another level for, for you. Not for, every, not, not for other people only, but for you. So if you're not living the life and getting the results that you want, examine examine the thought processes that are keeping you where you are we're all like thermostats you know what we have this set temperature set income that we're that we've always got um one of the first questions that i ask people when we get on a call together is you know what's the most income you've ever earned in a year and when they tell me i know where their paradigm is because um you know why is it that you've I only have earned fifty thousand dollars a year, and the next person over has consistently earned a hundred, and other people are earning a million. Like, why is that? It is your paradigm, and until you change it, 
that's going to be your life. And there's only two ways to change your paradigm. One is a very negative impact. Something happens and you just go, I am not living like this anymore. I am done. I'm not living like this anymore. And it's usually something very negative that happens. You know, loss of a job or um, death of a spouse or anything like that. And then you realize that, uh, you know, yes, you can change. And if you look back in your past, we've all hit times like that. I know I've hit times like that. And and now that I can recognize what my paradigms are or have been because I'm always changing them. Sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. My husband's wandering around outside and she thinks she's warning. <laughs> anyway, if you if you recognize that, like like one of the ones that I noticed and and uh, my my brother posted on Facebook one day and he said and the CEO of, of Tim Hortons was making 200 and some million dollars a year. And he said, nobody deserves that kind of money. Nobody needs that kind of money. And why don't they share it with the little guy? And uh, then my older brother chimed in and made some comment to agree. And you know what? I realized that that where we were brought up to think like that, it is so ingrained into us that, you know, we think like who would ever need 200 million dollars a year? Who would ever deserve $200 million a year? And that's a paradigm shift. And the other thing is, and I, I pointed this out to my brother, is I said, um, you know, if you're working at Tim Hortons and you're pouring coffee and sweeping the floor, really? You think somebody should be paid a hundred grand a year for that? Well, that doesn't even make business sense. It doesn't matter what the CEO makes. The CEO is making that kind only because it's a wildly profitable business and he does a lot of things right. And you know what? He might sit at his desk half a day just thinking and dreaming about how much better he can make that business. And the fact is, he's more productive than the person out there sweeping his heart out all day, sweeping, 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 and keeping that floor immaculate. It just does not matter. You can sweep to your heart's content. You're never going to make 100 grand a year unless your parents take pity on you and you're a little bit, you know, losing it that you can't uh, figure out about how to, how to earn more. Um, uh, because I can't imagine everybody would love to sweep a floor all day long, but I could be wrong. Um, so where are those paradigms keeping you back? Where are, where's that awareness that you need to wake yourself up to? So like I said, there's two ways to uh, overcome those paradigms. And one is a big emotional impact. And another one is consistent, repetitive study, uh, which is generally brought about through coaching programs. So uh, I, I know I've, I've uh, had a coach myself since 1999, never been without one, and I still suffer from, sh from paradigm shifts that I want to make a shift. But now I recognize what, I, what has to change in order for me to do that. And it's repetition, thinking, thinking about something differently, consistently, 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 and then making that a habit so that when you wake up in the morning, it's the first thought that pops in your mind. It's not a thought about, oh gosh, another rough day. It's, oh my gosh, I get to live this amazing life designed in my mind and, uh, and then take it from there. So hopefully that helped. And like I said, if you are struggling in any way, shape or form and you want to make a change, because the key word is want, if you don't want to make that change, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you want to make that change and understand your own paradigms and make that shift maybe once and for all from making 50,000 a year to 100,000 a year, 100,000 a year to a million a year, if you want to make that shift, I can help you. So reach out to me, book that call, and let's do something different. Have a really, really good day. We'll talk to you all on Friday. Bye for now. Hey, hi, Jerry. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you guys on this morning.